You ready, old man? Heh. <laughs> I'd be more concerned about you, Lightning. This old man still has a few tricks up his sleeve. Yeah, yeah. You talk the big talk, Doc. But let's see if those words hold true on the racetrack. Oh, you'd be surprised at how true they are, Lightning. <laughs> you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Score one for the old guy. Nice going out there, Doc. It was really impressive. Man, you're really teaching me so much. <laughs> Thanks, Lightning. You know, you've taught me something too. Yeah? What's that? You've taught me that even if you're no longer racing, you really can still make a difference. Speed. I am speed. One winner, 42 losers. I eat losers for breakfast. And that's what I used to say before every race. Yes, Lightning, I know, you tell me this all the time. Well, I'm just saying, if you're stressed out before this race, maybe try doing something that'll make you feel better, like saying a mantra or, or something else, okay? Right, yeah, gotcha. Great. Well, Cruz, you're wanted at the starting gate in about five minutes, so... You better get out of Mac soon. Yeah, yeah I will, Lightning, just, just give me a minute. Okay, good luck out there. I don't need luck. I've got the best crew chief in the world. <laughs> Thanks, Cruz. Okay, yeah, just a few more minutes. All right, I got this, I can do this. Afternoon, Ray. Hey, Lightning, where's your racer? Oh, she'll be here any minute. Where's yours? <laughs> Eh, uh, sup, Ray? Hey, champ! Get any calls from the old folks home yet? Hey, Storm! Get any calls from the bad jokes home yet? Oh! 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 Hey, Lightning. Tow truck's acting up again. I may want to spray him with the water bottle a few times. Hear that usually works. We are here live from the Gasket Speedway in Kentucky for the final race of this year's Piston Cup season. All of the racers are lined up at the start here. Well, all except for one, Cruz Ramirez. This is only the second season that Cruz Ramirez has raced in the Piston Cup, but it's been even better than her first, as she currently has had a seven win streak. That's right, Daryl. Cruz has won the past seven races in the Piston Cup. If she can win this next one, she will undoubtedly win the Piston Cup for the season. It's safe to say that Cruz would be nowhere near where she is today without the help of Lightning McQueen, who's proven through his crew chief and career that he's just as good off the track as he is on it. But now, one must wonder, what is Cruz Ramirez doing right now? Come on, Cruz, you gotta get out there. We don't have much time. Yeah, I know, Mac. Hold on a second. Just getting ready. First, I've got to loosen up those ancient joints. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. All right, and play. Hey! Go! I feel the wind rush as I go down the track. My engine won't stop. There's no turning back. I only have one goal and I know what it is. I'm gonna run this race and I'm gonna win. I'm gonna race and win. I'm gonna keep on going. Race and win. Cruz Ramirez! Not gonna stop, I know it. The finish line, I know it's mine, and now I'm gonna show it. Race and win. I'm gonna keep on rolling. We are now on the last lap of the race, folks, and Cruz Ramirez is still in the lead. 
Unbelievable. Ramirez has kept a consistent lead throughout the whole race. Well, what were you expecting, Bob? She is mentored by Latin McQueen, who teaches her basically everything he knows, and everything he knows is everything the Hudson Hornet knew and more. <laughs> ah, right you are, Daryl. It seems that there's no doubt that Cruz is going to win this race. <coughs> uh, I guess I spoke too soon. Cruz has blown a tire! Cruz has blown a tire! And with only one lap to go. How unfortunate. Cruz, you need to make it to pit row. Now! All right, yeah, uh, I got it, Lightning. Okay, we don't have much time. All right, let's move, guys. Guido, tires. Fillmore, fuel. Mater, what exactly is it you do on the pit crew again? I give emotional support. Well, then you keep on doing that, Mater. We don't have much time. We need to change Cruz's tire as fast as we can. <laughs> well, lucky for you, we have a very fast tire changer. <laughs> pit stop. <laughs> An incredible pit stop by Team Danico, but unfortunately it's landed Cruz in the back of the pack with only a few turns left to go. She's going to need a miracle if she's going to win now. Lightning, what do I do? I'm in the way back now. All right, Cruz, I need you to listen to me very, very carefully. Do you remember what I did at the 2008 Bumper Save Gears and Glory race? I was in a situation very similar to you, and I still won. Do you remember? Uh, I'm not sure I quite remember, Lightning. Can you walk me through it? Yeah, sure thing, Cruz. The first thing you're going to want to do is jump on top of the closest racer. I'm sorry, what? You heard me, Cruz. It's what you gotta do. Uh, all right, am I doing it well? Yeah, Cruz, good job. Sorry, Cam. Okay, now what? Jump on another racer. Huh. Now what? Sorry about this, HJ. Jump onto another one. Huh. Uh, okay, is this even a legal move? Look at that. Cruz Ramirez is once again using one of Lightning McQueen's old maneuvers. Well, <laughs> If it worked for him. Now what, Lightning? All right, now you're gonna wanna jump off. Onto another racer? No, you're good. Huh. Nice going, Cruz. Thanks, Lightning. So now what, Lightning? Now you're just gonna wanna look for an opening. Look for a way to get to the front. Okay, yeah, I can do this. You're not gonna start doing that thing where you imagine everyone has tractors again, are you? What? No, of course not. Meow. But I found an opening, Lightning. I think I can make it through. Good, Cruz! Go for it! <laughs> Look at Cruz go! Eh, now that's what I call a comeback! Danny and Jackson are just inches away from the finish. It looks like one of them is gonna win. <laughs> but no! Cruz Ramirez steals the win from them at the last second! What?! No way! Which means that Cruz Ramirez has once again won the Piston Cup for the season. Yes! Yes! Way to go, Cruz! Woohoo! Nice job out there, Ramirez! <laughs> Thanks, Flip! Congrats on the win, Cruz! Thanks, Jaden! Cruz Ramirez! Eh, <laughs> you have certainly made Dinoco. One proud company, and you've certainly made me one proud sponsor. Oh, thanks, Tex. You have proven yourself to be one of the greats of our company's racing legacy. You're up there with the king, Cruz. And, and me, right? Sure, Cal, if you want to think that. Great job out there today, Cruz. You totally killed it. Thanks, Rodin. Man, I'm so glad that I get to keep on racing and... Lightning, he's doing such a great job training me. You know, always pulling off the stuff he used to do. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing great, Cruz. Now, Cruz, I should probably let you get going back home. But if you need anything, you know where to find me. Yeah. Thanks, Tex. See you, Cruz. Bye, Cal. All right, Cruz. You ready to get out of here? Yeah. Let's go back to Radiator Springs. The gang known as the Road Dents is still at large. Chops fly again. Weekdays at 8.
We have received confirmation that Carbon Cyber and Spearmint Racers Jim Reverick and Nick Shift will be returning for next year's Piston Cup season. Welcome back everyone to Chick's Picks with Chick Hicks. I'm your host, former and forever Piston Cup champion, Chick Hicks. And Cruz Ramirez has continued her impressive winning streak. At least, that's what the other reporters will be saying about it. But can you really consider a racer's wins impressive when all they do is just something that their mentor did before? Yeah, that's right. For six of these eight races, including this one that happened just hours ago, Cruz Ramirez won by pulling off a move that Lightning McQueen used at some point in his racing career. Look, being mentored is one thing, but this is straight up imitation. But like I said, it wasn't just this one time tonight. It's been five of the eight races of her so-called impressive winning streak. Five of these eight races are times where she just did what Lightning did. Honestly, at this point, I'm starting to have trouble telling the two apart. <laughs> Let's see here, uh, Cruz, she's, she's younger, she's a girl, and she's yellow. Those are basically the only differences I can find now. <laughs> basically the same racer. And Cruz, she gets praised for this as Lightning mentors her, and she just does what he did before. So that got me thinking. <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. So I thought... If Lightning McQueen could have his own racer in the Piston Cup who basically imitates his every move and wins several races because of it, why don't I do the same? Ladies and gentle cars, introducing the new HTB racer, specially picked out by me and trained by me. Racing as number infinity, Kara Crashwell. Now, like I said, I've trained Kara here for a good long time, getting her ready to join next season of the Piston Cup. She knows everything that I know, and she's an excellent racer, and she will be the perfect competitor for Lightning McQueen 2, I mean Cruz Ramirez, on the racetrack. Say hi, Kara. Hey, what's up? Come for you, Cruz. Heh, <laughs> she's great, isn't she? Oh no. Now, I know what you're thinking right now. Chick, didn't your sponsor, HDB, the Hostile Takeover Bank, leave the Piston Cup because they said they no longer wanted to be associated with your beautiful face? Yes, that's correct. So how did I get them back? Well, you see, Hostile Takeover Bank was, ironically, hostily taken over a few years back by another bank. And that bank was hostily taken over by me! Ha! So now I own HDB, and I brought it back into the Piston Cup. Unfortunately, my PR team said that running a sponsor called the Hostile Takeover Bank probably isn't the best idea for business. So now we've renamed HDB and it no longer stands for Hostile Takeover Bank. Now it stands for Happy Times Bank. The name wasn't my choice. HDB, always happy to serve you at the bank. And don't you even think about trying to get out of here. No, please, please gotta let me out, please. It's not fair. And why would I let you out? You're one of the rodent gang. You guys are illegal parts resellers. Resellers of very dangerous illegal parts that you resell illegally. Yeah, but, but, but come on, I, you, don't you want to catch the rest of my gang? Maybe I can tell you where they are. Maybe I can help you. And why would I trust you? Like I said, you're a criminal. But, but you only caught me and, and not the other four members of my gang. Come on, please, please let me out. Please, please, I'll tell you where the rest of them are. Please? No way, pal. You're staying in there. Do 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 do. Behind the clouds. Do 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 do. The sun is. Hey there, guys. Sorry, but the boot camp practice isn't until next week. Ciao, Leroy. Oh no, your back tire popped again. Oh, Ramon, these flames look great as always. <laughs> hey, thanks, Marilyn. Hey, hon. Welcome to Flo's V8 Cafe. Finest fuel on Route 66. What can I get for you today? Hi. Yes. Uh, can I have some snow tires, please? Uh, what? We don't sell those here, sir. This this is a cafe. Oh. Well, then what do you sell here? Uh, fuel. We got gas here. You can see the little gas pumps. Uh, yeah. You know, all sorts of things, like like drinks and stuff. But, but not tires. Oh. Okay. 
Then I'll have two radials and a snow tire, please. Hey Sal, have you heard from Cruz yet today? Uh, no, not yet, Stickers. Oh man, what's wrong? Well, I, I've got this big meeting with Daryl Cartrip and Bob Cutlass in 30 minutes, and I really hope Cruz comes home in time. A big meeting? You didn't tell me that, but what is it about? Well, they just called me last night, actually, right after we came home after Cruz won the last race of the season. They said they have some big new idea, something that they want me to, uh, to do or, or something like that. Man, but I gotta go soon. I, I hope Mac and Cruz arrive soon. Well, I guess that we're just in time then, huh? <laughs> hey! Uh, uh, lightning! How you doing? Hey, Mac! <laughs> Where's Cruz? I'm right here, Lightning. <laughs> hey, there's my Piston Cup champion. How you doing, Cruz? <sighs> I'm good. Uh, I'm good. You sure? You you sound a little nervous. No, no, I'm fine. Trust me, Lightning. I, I'm perfectly fine. <sighs> it's good to see you. It's good to be back in Radiator Springs. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you too, Cruz. Hey, everyone! Cruz is back! <laughs> hey, Cruz! Oh, great job out there yesterday, Cruz! Ah, uh, ah, uh, you did excellent, Cruz. Congratulations, honey. Two Piston Cups in two years. <laughs> it's like you're lightning all over again. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Ah, uh, Cal Weathers, you did so well. Uh, no, uh, I'm not Cal Weathers, Lizzie. I, I'm Cruz, remember? Man, Lizzie is starting to lose it. Starting to? No, oh, no, I'm just kidding. You did great out there, Cruz. Thanks, Lizzie. Now, on the other hand, that Mario Andretti fella, he did great. Uh, Lizzie, Mario Andretti's been retired for like 35 years. Ow. Oh. Really? I. I could have sworn I saw him on the track yesterday. Ha! Huh. Now, Cruz, I'd love to stay and talk and all, but unfortunately, I've got to go to a meeting in about 30 minutes, so, you know, I'll talk to you after that. Oh, okay. What's the meeting about? Honestly, I don't really know. It's. Bob Cutlass and Daryl Cartrip told me to meet in a nearby Piston Cup garage. They want to talk about some stuff. I'll let you know afterwards, okay? All right. Latin and McQueen, just the car we wanted to see. Uh, yeah, hey guys, how's it going? We're doing well, Lightning. How about yourself? I'm good, I'm good. You know, still celebrating Cruz's victory and all that. Yeah, that was a great victory there, Latin. And you did a great job too. A great job at being a recruit chief, that is. Thanks, guys. Well, it's true, Latin, and that's exactly why we wanted to talk to you here today. You see, Latin, you have proven now in your few years of being a crew chief that you are absolutely legendary, both on the track and off. Oh, thanks, guys. You were doing great while you were racing, and now you're an exceptional crew chief. You truly are a racing legend, Lightning. Everybody knows your name. Everybody loves you. You were great on the track and off, and... That got Daryl and I thinking. So Bob and I pitched an idea to those who run the Piston Cup, and they absolutely loved it. An idea for a once-in-a-lifetime, one-time-only, exclusive racing event all about you. All about me. That's right, Latin. A racing event to celebrate your racing career. So, what we are going to do, if you choose to accept this idea, is... We are going to pick a selection of racers from throughout your racing career, both friends and former racing rivals. We are going to pick those racers for you, Lightning. You are not going to know who you're up against until the night before the first race. What you will have a say in, though, are the rules of the race and where you want the races to be. There will be five races in total. We are open to doing this anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world, really? And, and a bunch of racers from my career? This sounds kind of expensive, guys. Well, yeah, it is. Luckily for us, Tex Dynico said he would love to fund it. Oh, that's great. Yup. So, Latin, we'll pick the racers, but you can alter some of the rules if you'd like to, and you get to choose five locations for the five races. The racing series will be simple. Whoever wins the most races is crowned the winner. So... What do you say? Are you in? Yeah. This is amazing, guys. I, I can't believe I've been given this opportunity. I, 
Oh man, I can't wait. Uh, I'd absolutely love to do it. Okay, but I'm gonna need some time to think of the locations. Uh, and, oh man, this is gonna be great. Wait a second. What's it gonna be called? Well, we were thinking about calling it the Lightning Cup? Yeah. What do you guys say? It sounds amazing. Just like the World Grand Prix, but with hopefully less death and destruction. Oh man, I can't wait. Oh, this seems so cool. Yeah, man. This is definitely exciting. So what do you think, Cruz? I mean, they're probably gonna pick you to be one of the racers. They said that I can't know who they are yet, but come on, you're totally gonna be one. Yeah, uh, wow, this sounds awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. Congratulations, Lightning. Thanks, Sheriff. So this is like a celebration of your life in racing, huh? Yeah, I, I guess so. Man, I'm so excited. I get to race again for the first time in years. I mean, hopefully I'm still as Good as I used to be, but man, I'm so excited. So, uh, Lightning, yeah? They, uh, said you get to pick the tracks. Do you get to change any other things about the races? Uh, yeah, they said if I wanted to alter some of the rules, I could. Uh, good. Can I talk to you for a minute? Alone? Uh, okay. What's wrong, Cruz? You seem kind of out of it ever since you got back here. It's, uh... On my way coming back to Radiator Springs, after I won that race, I was watching TV and I turned the channel to Chick Hicks's show and, you know, he said some things that really got to me. Like what? What did he say? Uh, he said that I'm just a copy of you and I just keep on doing things that you do and, and only your moves to win. Uh, that I'm just like you all over again and how he can barely tell us apart. Aside from the fact that I'm sponsored by Dynaco, and I'm yellow, and I'm a girl. Oh. Man, that guy does not stop, does he? Look, Cruz, don't let any of it get to you, okay? I've had to put up with what Chick says for years, on the racetrack and then on his show. But you can't let any of it get to you. He's just a really rude, egotistical guy who just wants to bring other cars down. Don't let him get to you. He said he's entering another car into the Piston Cup. What? He said he bought HTB, his old sponsor, and now he's entering his own racer into the Piston Cup, saying that, oh, if Lightning can do it, then so can I. He said her name is Kara Crashwell. She's going to be racing for HTB starting in the next Piston Cup season. She said she's coming for me. Oh, Got to be kidding me. This really sounds like something Chick would do, though. Ugh, great. Yeah. He said he's specially trained her. Oh! Oh, even better. He specially trained her. A guy who's caused, like, 80 crashes throughout his racing career has specially trained a racer. All because he doesn't like me. And now he doesn't like you because he didn't like me. Ugh, ridiculous. I would expect nothing less from him. But Lightning, for this Lightning Cup, if I'm in it, can you do me a favor? Uh, sure. What? Can you alter the rules so that we don't have crew chiefs on the track? Um, I mean, I, I guess I can make it, you know, a bit more challenging. Uh, sure. But is this just because of what Chick said? Well, I, I want to prove him wrong, Lightning. I want to show the world that I'm more than just you again. No offense to you, your crew chiefing has been amazing, Lightning, but... You know, I, I want to show that I could be my own racer. Uh, uh, okay, Cruz, I, I guess I'll see what I could do. I, I get where you're coming from. Okay, good. All right, guys, I've got a rule alteration I'd like to make. All right, Latin, what's that? No crew chiefs. No crew chiefs. Yeah, leave it up to just the skill of the racer by themselves. You know, see what they can do without any guidance. So no crew chiefs. All right, that could work. That means we have to pay less people. Yeah, that's right. And, and I, I've also got another idea. You know, for years, I've only had my one pity, Guido, and you know, he's like the best of the best. So I was thinking, what if the other teams only had one pity as well, you know? The, the racers would have to pick who their best pity is or has been throughout all their years of racing, and then that's their pity for the Lightning Cup, you know? Kind of like how throughout my whole career, I've only had one pity, now everyone else has to do that. All right, huh. sounds cool, yeah. Like you can make things a real challenge. Yeah, 
Good, good. Oh, I almost forgot. I came up with the five locations. All right, Latinin, what are those? All right, well, you know, I don't really have the specific racetracks planned out for each location. Like, I don't know what track I'd like to go to in that place, but I have the places. All right, just tell us the locations and maybe we can help you find the tracks. All right, so, you know, I was thinking, start off familiar. Start off by racing in some different countries from around the world that I've been to before and have raced in, in like a World Grand Prix. So, I was thinking we start in Italy, okay. Then we go to Tokyo, all right, sounds good. And then after that, Germany, and then France, because, you know, those weren't locations in the World Grand Prix, and I've always wanted to race in those places. Okay. And then for the final race, we end things back here in the States in Thomasville. That sounds great. Yeah, a town that has a whole lot of meaning to you and your mentor. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, those locations sound great. And I've always wanted to go to France. Man, I'm so glad you guys are on board with all this. You're giving me so much creative control. You know, aside from me not knowing who the racers are. Why can't I know that again? Well, Latin, if you picked the racers or if you even knew who they were, then you would be able to train to beat those racers. We want you to go in completely blind regarding the racers so that it's more of a challenge for you and all the others. So none of the racers know who else is in the race? That's rat. It's kind of a shame, though, because, you know, I wanted my friend Ramon to, uh, paint all of us with cool new lightning cup looks. I came up with a logo and everything, but I guess he can't do that if we can't know who the other racers are. On the contrary, Lightning, because we spoke to your pal Ramon about it weeks ago, and he's already repainted all of the racers. What? You guys hired Ramon? Well, yeah, Lightning. You uh, already told us that you wanted him to come up with the logos and the paint jobs in our third meeting a few weeks back, so we hired him. Without me knowing? That's right. Man. Wow, he's done a good job keeping that secret. Yeah, I guess he has. But now he's repainted all the racers, Lightning. All except for one. <laughs> now that's what I call a masterpiece on wheels. What do you think, Lightning? It's... It's perfect! Whoa ho ho ho! Looking good, Lightning! And you too, Ramon! Hey, thanks, Flo! Thanks, Sally. Man, I love this paint job. So, uh, I guess that means that it's time for you to go, huh? Yeah! Cruz and Mac already left yesterday, so now it's my turn to head off to the races. Well, Lightning, best of luck out there, man. We can't wait to watch you race on TV. Watch me on TV? No, 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 no. You guys are coming with me. What? We, we are? Yeah. Why would I do this alone? You guys have all been my best friends for years. If I'm doing this, I'm doing this with you guys. Well, Latin, that's a very nice thing of you to say, but unfortunately, I think Red and I are going to have to stay here with the whole road dent gang still on the loose and all. Yeah, that's all right, Sheriff. But, but what about you guys? I'd love to go. Ha <laughs> ha. Count me in. Yeah, buddy! Woo-hoo! All right. I'd love to. Yes, yes, yes! Of course, Lightning. And I'm coming along, too. Right after I take a nap. <sighs> yeah, I don't think bringing along Lizzie is a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I fully agree with that. So, Lightning, where are we off to first again? Up first, we're going to Italy. Yes! Yes! Oh, finally going back to Italy! Oh, we'll see my family. We'll party with all my friends. Oh, yes, 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 yes! Thank you, Lightning. Thank you. I know that you specifically chose to race in Italy because you know that Guido and I are from there. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I just got a little excited there. All right, uh, so when do we leave? Just a few hours. Everybody pack your things. It's off to the Lightning Cup. All my life, I've been racing. Good luck out there, everyone. <laughs> and I can't wait to do it all again with all my friends. But now, it's time to go racing. Now boarding flight 2006 for Porto Corsa, Italy. It's time to go back. Go back, 
with all of my friends. Uncle Topolino! Hello, Luigi! Mama Topolino! Oh, ciao! How have you been, Luigi? Oh, they've been great! It's so good to see you! Ha <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the Air Show TV studio here in beautiful Porto Corsa, Italy. I'm Shannon Spokes, here the day before the first race of the highly anticipated Lightning Cup, a cup series brought to you by the Piston Cup and Dynaco, celebrating the career of Lightning McQueen by having him pick a series of tracks to race at against several competitors from throughout his racing career. Now, none of these racers know who the other racers are. There's been some very heavy online speculation regarding who the other racers are, but none of the racers know who they're up against. And none of you watching at home know who the other racers are. The only racer confirmed by us has, of course, been Lightning McQueen himself. But I am here today to reveal who the rest of the racers are just one day before the racing event starts. Now, with that introduction out of the way, I'd like to introduce our first racer, Lightning McQueen! Hey, Shannon! Hi, everyone! It's amazing to be here. I'm so glad that I've gotten this opportunity. Uh, man, I I'm so excited to be racing again all across the world at these places that I've picked. I, I just can't wait, and I can't wait to see who the other chosen racers are. That's great to hear, Lightning. Now, please, uh, sit aside for just a minute, hang tight, and we'll bring in the other racers. Okay, all right, got you. Now, when Lightning McQueen started off in his rookie year, he had some pretty tough competition. Lightning's rookie year was the last year for another racer, a racer who is one of the winningest racers of all time. Ladies and gentle cars, our next racer, Strip Weathers, better known as the King. Hey, howdy, Shannon. Man, it is good to be back here. Look at you, Strip, you're looking great. Thank you, Shannon, same to yourself. Hey, everyone out there, I'm so excited to be racing again here in this Lightning Cup series. I just can't wait. Now, Lightning and Strip might have had a good relationship on the track. They weren't really great friends or anything, but they really respected each other on the track. One of their other competitors, though, who always found himself behind them, wasn't very respectful. Our next racer, Chick Hicks. <laughs> hey, Shannon. Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the start of the Chick Era! Yeah! I just bought HTB, I just hired a new racer for next year's Piston Cup season, and I can't wait to win the Lightning Cup! Woo! It's the Chick Era, baby! Wow, that was very loud, Mr. Hicks. Please, please go. Alright. Lightning continued to race in the Piston Cup year after year, but his superstardom brought him to races all over the world, including the now infamous World Grand Prix. While there, he got to race against another very famous racer from right here in Italy, Francesco Bernoulli. Ciao, Shannon. Hello, hello, hello. Now, Francesco and Lightning had a uh, sort of rivalry back in the World Grand Prix, but, you know, it was more of a friendly rivalry, right, Francesco? Yes, yes, Lightning and I, uh, we get along very well. It's just that, you know, uh, I know that I'm going to beat them. Lightning, I'm going to beat you, okay? Let's just set the record straight. I am going to win this Lightning Cup. Ciao, Shannon. Mwah. Uh, Francesco Bernoulli, ladies and gentlemen. But in the World Grand Prix, Lightning didn't just meet some new racers. He also got to meet up with some old friends of his, like Jeff Gorvet. Hey, Shannon. Hey, everyone. So excited to be back racing again in the Lightning Cup. I know that's what like everyone's been saying, and I'm sorry if it sounds kind of generic. It's just, it's so true. I am so, so stoked. I haven't raced in a few years now. I'm so excited. That's great to hear, Jeff. But Jeff wasn't the only old friend of Lightning's that he saw again in the World Grand Prix. There was also Lewis Hamilton. Hey, Shannon. Man, pleasure to be here. Can't wait to be racing in the Lightning Cup. And Jeff, Jeff, you know I'm gonna beat you, okay? I <laughs> can't wait to get racing. Back at home, Lightning was making even more friends at the Piston Cup, like Cal Weathers. Woo, yes, 
Man, I'm so excited to be here. This is amazing. Yes. Yeah. It's the start of the, the Cal Weathers era. Yeah. Woo. I'd like to thank everyone for letting me be here. I'd like to thank uh, uh, my uncle for teaching me how to race. And I'd like to thank Tex Dynago for uh, sponsoring this race. Uh, yeah. Racing. Yeah. Woo. Wow. He seems very excited. Um, well, Lightning also became good friends with Bobby Swift. Yeah, he did. And that's me, Bobby Swift. Man, this is great. Racing against Lightning and Cal and all these other international racers and older racers and all that. Can't wait. Ha. And he was also good friends with Brick Yardley. Yeah, he was. And that's me, Brick Yardley. You already knew that. Hey everyone, Brick Yardley here, number 24. Wait a second, Brick. I just realized something, which is you're number 24. And Jeff is number 24. We have two number 24s in the same race. That that must be awkward, man. Yeah, well, well, uh, Jeff, hey man, may the best 24 win. And that, that that's me, probably. As time went on, Lightning began to struggle a bit more in his career, as he was starting to be beaten by racers from a whole new generation, like Jackson Storm. Yeah, that's right. I'm here, champ, ready to take you down. <laughs> hey, Shannon, good to see you again. Good to see everyone again. Just proving that I, Jackson Storm, am still one of the best. Can't wait to beat you again, Lightning. Heh. <laughs> but, in order to compete with these new next gens, Lightning came up with a brilliant idea at the Florida 500 a few years back, entering his own racer, trainer, and friend, Cruz Ramirez. Woo! Hey, man, I'm so stoked to be here right now. Cruz, you have been doing exceptionally in the Piston Cup as of late. I'm sure all of your fans are thrilled to see you in the Lightning Cup. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I hope they are. I, I can't wait to race against all of, uh, of Lightning's old friends and meeting some of these guys for the first time here. This is awesome! Now, that's only 11 of the racers, and the final racer competing is a very unique one. This is the only racer in the competition who does not have a direct connection to Lightning McQueen, at least not yet. This is a racer who hasn't even started racing professionally yet. But the cars who organized this race thought it would be interesting to enter them, and also a very large bribe of a whole lot of money from one of the other Lightning Cup racers uh, didn't really uh, help uh, change their minds against entering this car. Ladies and gentle cars, Kara Crashwell. Hey everyone. <laughs> Pleasure to be here, Shannon. Man. This is my first ever series of races, you know that? Yes, that's right. You were just entered into the Piston Cup by Chick Hicks just a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's right. I'm starting racing in the next season. But before I start racing in the Piston Cup, I've got to beat everyone else in the Lightning Cup. Coming for you, Cruz. <gasps> Kara Crashwell, but, 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 ha! Good luck beating her, Cruz, and Lightning. And I mean, I guess I've got to compete against her too, but ha! <laughs> yeah. Welcome everyone to the first race of the Lightning Cup, sponsored by Dynaco, right here in Porto Corsa, Italy. I'm Bob Cutlass, and I'm Daryl Cartrip, and we are glad to be your hosts and announcers for this one-of-a-kind racing series. Now, the way that this racing series is going to work is pretty simple. We'll be using a point system. Since there are 12 racers in total, each race will have a maximum number of 12 points per car. That's right. So basically, if a racer gets first place in a race, they will get 12 points. If a racer gets second, they'll get 11th, third will get 10, fourth will get nine, so on and so forth. Of course, the car in the last place will get one point. Whoever has the most points by the end of the racing series will win the racing series. Yup, so it's more than just being the one in first place. It's being consistently in the front of the pack time and time again so that you can get the most points. Now this race itself is going to be pretty simple. 
five laps around this beautiful track in Porto Corsa. And the racers only have five more minutes until it begins. Chick, Chick, what's your strategy for winning today's race? Uh, well, obviously, I'm gonna show up, and then I'm gonna win. And then, I'm gonna start the Chick era, baby! Yeah! Kachiga, 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 Chiga, Chiga, Chiga! Stop saying Kachiga! Never! Man, Gum, this is awesome, Lightning! A whole racing event all about you. Uh, this is an appropriate hat to wear, right? Yeah, Mater, yeah, very, very appropriate hat. Well, uh, unfortunately, it's the only one I packed. I really need to try to find another hat. I hope I can find someone selling them around here. Yeah, good luck with that. Hey, Guido. Hmm? You ready? Uh-huh. Now remember, Guido, you are going to excel at this. All of these other racers, they're not used to having just one penny on their pit crew, but me? I've spent almost my entire career with only you. It's time for you to show these other pities who's boss. Uh-huh. But, uh, you sure you're okay with doing double time as both my and Cruz's pity? Uh-huh. Good, good. I trust that you can fix us both up in time. How about you, Cruz? You ready? Yeah. I'm so excited, Lightning. Oh, man. Racing against all of your old racing friends and rivals. You know, I'm just a bit nervous about that new racer, the one that Chick trained, but I think I could beat her. Good. Yeah. You're going to do awesome, Cruz. Thanks, Lightning. I'm going to prove I'm more than just you. You ready for this, Bobby? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back on the track, just like I like it. Whoa. Who was that again? You say her name is Kara Craswell. She's part of this race, too. She was specially trained by Chick Hicks. Oh. Well, this is gonna be real fun. <laughs> What's up, Luz Ramirez? Heh. <laughs> wow. You really were trained by Chick Hicks, huh? You have the same terrible insults. Hey, Jeff. You know what I was thinking? Since we're both number 24 here, uh... How about we make a little bet? Alright. What's your bet? I say that... Whichever one of us does worse in the Lightning Cup, you or me, has to change their number afterwards. So we could really prove who's the best number 24. Hmm. I like that idea, Brick. I like that a lot. Luckily for me, I know that I'll get to stay as number 24 because I'm way better than you. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that, Jeff. But uh, what should we change our number to? Ooh, I've got an idea. How about uh, the other racer has to flip their number around? So, so the other racer has to become number 42. Yeah, yeah, the other racer has to become number 42. That's perfect, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, the loser has to be 42. <laughs> 42 is such a lame number anyway. Only a loser would be that number in the first place. Ahem. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, Cal. Francesco, my boy, you are finally going to make your mama proud today. You're finally going to make up for your terrible performance back in that World Grand Prix years ago. Back when you let Lady McQueen beat you in your very own home country. Mama, I I'm sorry that he beat me, okay? But almost all the other racers in that race were blown up. Stop making excuses, Francesco. Win! Beat Lightning! You've brought shame to the great Bernoulli name, Francesco. You are going to win this and make your mother proud of you again. So, who invited Francesco to be a part of this? You know, that is a very good question, Ramon. All racers, please line up at the starting gate. The race is about to begin. I repeat, all racers to the starting gate. The race is about to begin. All right, you know what that means, buddy. Good luck out there. Good luck out there, stickers. Mwah. We'll be watching you from the fan stands. Okay, here we go. Focus. Speed. I. Am. Speed. Ha 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 ha! Oh, you're kidding me, right, Lightning? You're kidding me. You still do that before you race? <laughs> ah, ah, oh, give me a break. All right. All of the racers are lined up. Three. Two. One! Boogity boogity boogity! Let's go racing, everybody! And they're off, with Latin McQueen appropriately having an early lead. 
But it seems that Cruz has already given him a hard time. Cruz has already passed Lightning, and Francesco, she's already in the front. What? How? Lightning, how well did you train this girl? Seems that Jeff's found a window to pass through, as is Lewis. Chick seems as angry as ever as he makes his way through the pack. And new racer Crashwell is quickly and skillfully maneuvering her way around the track. Later, Chick! What was that for? Come on! I trained you! You can't just disrespect me like that! Well, that's how you treated me when we were training, so that's how I'm treating you now! <laughs> Sup, Lightning? No, it's nice to race you. I hear you're a legend, and uh, that's why they're doing this whole racing series thing. But you know, <laughs> when it's all said and done, after we're both long gone, they're gonna remember me far more than they'll remember you. Wow, a devastating verbal blow from Crashwell. That one sounds like it hurt. Hey, Uncle. How's it going, Cal? Good to see you here. Yeah, good to race you, Uncle, but I am totally gonna beat you. Later, champ! Hello, Jackson Storm. You know, it's nice to finally meet you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll sign you an autograph later. And Jackson rockets ahead to the front of the pack. While well, it seems that Crashwell and Ramirez are neck and neck. Hey, Cruz. Bet you didn't expect me to catch up to you so soon, huh? Now, uh, if you want, you could just start slowing down a bit, you know, move back, you know. You don't really need to win this race, but me, I do. <sighs> now hold tight, folks, and don't go anywhere. This is going to be a relatively short race, but it's certainly still going to be one to remember. Go Lightning! <sighs> Come on, Francesco, don't disappoint your mama! Folks, we are now just a few turns away from the end of the first race of the Lightning Cup. Throughout this whole race, it's been a battle between four cars, Francesco, Cruz, Jackson, and Kara Crashwell, to see who could stay in the lead. But it's been Cruz and Kara most consistently. Lightning's always been close behind them, often not that far from Jeff Gorvet. How you doing, Lightning? I'm good, I'm good. You know, I thought I'd be doing a bit better here, but, you know, still four more races. I could still win those, and still a chance I could win this. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chick Hicks has surprisingly stayed towards the back of the pack. Yeah, well, you start running a news show for several years instead of racing and see what happens to you. Don't worry. The Chick era is still going to start. Dude, nobody even knows what the Chick era is. Yeah, you know, Cal makes a good point. Do you even know what it is? Well, I, I mean, it's an era that, you know, maybe I should work that out. As we approach the finish line, it's Ramirez and Crashwell neck and neck. It's, 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 it's Cruz Ramirez for the win. No! Way to go, Cruz! Wahoo! Kara Crashwell is in a close second with Lightning McQueen in third, Francesco in fourth, and Jackson Storm behind them. Oh no, oh I got fourth, oh no! Francesco, I can't believe you, you've dishonored our legacy! I'm sorry mama, okay, there are still four aces, I promise I'll do better at them, I promise! You better Francesco, I don't know what I'll do to you if you lose these other aces too! So Jeff, what place do you get? Seventh, and you? Oh, nice. I got ninth. So it looks like you're winning the 24 war so far, huh? Yeah, looks like it. I can't believe this. Got second place. I was so close to beating her, too. Yeah, well, at least you didn't get last place. That's what I got. Ugh. So it seems like we're both not having the best start to this racing series. But don't worry, Kara. We'll get under Cruz's hood. We'll find out what makes her tick. And we'll beat her in Tokyo for sure. Yeah. Yeah, we will. Every racer has a weakness, Kara. You just need to know how to exploit it in the right way. We love you, Cruz! <laughs> way to go, Cruz! Man, you really showed that Crashwell girl who's boss. Thanks, Lightning. Yeah, you did great, Cruz. Staying consistently in first place throughout that whole race. Great job. 
Thanks, Lightning. You didn't do too bad yourself, considering this was your first race in years. Yeah, third place. You know, I hope I could get first place in at least one of these races, but third place on my first race in a few years really isn't that bad. Yeah, good job. Thanks, Cruz. You too. And you showed the world that you could win a race without a crew chief, without my advice. But, but, see you in Tokyo, Cruz. Next race is in a few days. You're gonna do great again. You know, I was in Tokyo once. Yes, Mater, we know. We were all there when the World Grand Prix started. No, no, no. Not then. Long before then. I had to tow a car to Tokyo, and then I got modified and went into a race. Like one of them fancy tuner cars right there. Heh <laughs> heh. Don't touch me. Oh, uh, sorry, ma'am. Welcome, everyone, to the second race of the Lightning Cup here in Tokyo, Japan. Does the Dynaco helicopter seriously have to fly by us before every single race? Uh, yeah. They're our sponsor, Daryl. Anyway, our racers have just a few minutes until they have to get to the track. The racers will now be lined up this time around by how they performed in the last race. The points are currently as follows. With 12 points, Cruz Ramirez. With 11 points, Kara Crashwell. With 10 points, Latin McQueen. With 9 points, Francesco Bernoulli. With 8 points, Jackson Storm. With 7 points, Cal Weathers. With 6 points, Jeff Gorvet. With 5 points, Strip Weathers. With four points, Brick Yardley. With three points, Lewis Hamilton. With two points, Bobby Swift. And with one point, Chick Hicks. Good luck out there, Cruz. And remember, if you need any help, I'm on the same track as you. I know, Lightning. I know. Good luck. Thanks. On your marks, get set. Boogity, 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 let's go racing. <laughs> These racers have to once again complete a five lap race. And once again, Cruz Ramirez is in the front. And would you look at that? Latin McQueen is passed in front of her, but Cruz is trailing close behind. Also trailing close behind is Kara Crashwell and Jeff Gorvet. And Jackson Storm is close behind them. I need to make my mama proud. Yeah, good luck with that, Francesco. Oh, quiet you. Hey, Cal, your blink is on. Wait, is it? Ugh, why do I still fall for that? And Kara Crashwall takes the lead. All right, Cruz, this is a good turn if you want to turn right to go left or something. I'm okay, Lightning. I've got this. Don't worry. Now reaching the end of the third lap, Cruz and Crashwell are still neck and neck. Meanwhile, Chick Hicks is still in the back. Oh, I can't believe this. How's it going, Chick? Seems you've gotten old, huh? Ugh, quiet, Cal. Oh no! Chick Hicks has knocked Cal off the track. <laughs> Seems that some cars never change, huh? It seems that Cal has made it into pit row just fine, though, and has only suffered one pop tire. Tires! Somebody give me tires! Oh, wait. I'm the only pity here. Why do I keep forgetting that? It seems that Chick has been using the situation to his advantage and is now gliding through the track. Hey, Lightning! <laughs> Good to see ya! Chick? How'd you get so far up front? Oh, you know, I just hit Cal Weathers and things sort of worked out after that. You... You did what? Cruz and Crashwell have just started the last lap with Lightning McQueen and Chick Hicks close behind. Well, meanwhile, poor Cal Weathers seems to be stuck all by himself in the back following his injury. Yeah, Cal is lonely back there, isn't he? Come on, Cal. You gotta get back in front. Yeah, yeah, the front. Gotta get to the front. <sighs> Seems that Cal's been motivated by a fan now and is moving his way up. Well, meanwhile, it seems like Chick Hicks is starting to struggle to keep up with the leaders. 
Kara, remember, remember what I said. You need to find a weak point. Right, right, weak point. Hey, Cruz. What do you want, Kara? You know, I was just thinking, you've done pretty good so far. You know, you and I, we've basically been neck and neck. Yeah, you beat me in the first race, but uh, for the most part, we've stayed pretty even. But listen, Cruz, every racer has something that makes them tick. You know that? Every racer has something that they just can't stand. Everyone does. Everyone has their pet peeves, Cruz. You have yours, even I have mine. What's the point of this, Crashwell? Well, you know, I was just thinking. Seems like you've got a bit of a pet peeve, Cruz. You have a problem with being compared to Lightning McQueen, huh? What? Yeah, I know, Cruz. I know. You're sick of hearing Chick Hicks, the guy who trained me, say that you're just like Lightning. Kara, whatever you're trying to do, you're not going to get to me, okay? You're not. I don't operate like that. Most racers, yeah, they got a problem with Trash Hawk, but not me. I know how to use that anger to push through. Remember, I used to be a trainer. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, Cruz, you keep telling yourself that. You know that way deep down, what I'm saying to you is really starting to bug you. In fact, not deep down. It's pretty obvious that I'm bothering you. No, no, you're not. I I'm not angry with you, okay? I'm just racing. What you say, it can't bother me. Mm-hmm. Sure, Cruz. Keep saying that. We both know the truth. What you're saying, Kara, it can't get to me. <sighs> Are you sure? Because it looks like I just beat you. <sighs> Kara Crashwell has won the second race of the Lightning Cup with Cruz just seconds behind. <sighs> Jackson Storm has come in third, with Lightning in fourth, followed by Jeff Gorvette. Seriously? Uh, Jeff, uh, if you keep winning, I I'm gonna call our bet off. Yeah! Hey, Cal, how you doing after that crash? Oh, I'm fine, you know, used to it. Wasn't really that much damage, just popped a tire and that was it. Yeah, I'm fine. And I still got seventh place, so not that bad. Yeah, not that bad at all. You did good too, Lightning. Fourth place? Nice. Wish I'd done that good. Thanks, Cal. Thanks. Oh, Cruz! Hey, Cruz! Hey, Lightning. What's going on? What's wrong? You you almost had that win there. What happened? Nothing. Nothing, Lightning. I'll, I'll see you in Germany, okay? Uh, uh okay? Okay. <sighs> Go, McQueen! And Francesco! And Jeff! And Lewis! Man, I... There's so many good racers here. I don't even know who to root for. <laughs> you know, I could have been there too, but I guess they only picked 12. Go McQueen! Folks, we are now midway through the race in Germany. And it seems that the racers are doing just as well as they have been doing throughout the other two races. But this time, it seems that Kara Crashwell has had a pretty consistent lead in front of Cruz. I'm not just lightning. I'm not just lightning. I'm not just lightning. I'm not just lightning. <sighs> And Cruz takes the lead, just in time for the start of the fourth lap. It seems that once again, Chick is stuck in the back of the pack. Ugh, why can't I do better? Because, Chick, you just gotta face the fact that you're old now. Yeah, well, you're old too, maybe. But I'm still enjoying my time here. Now, there have been some rumors on the internet that Jeff and Brick have come up with some sort of bet because both of them are the number 24. The specifics of this bet, or whether it's real or not, are unknown, but Jeff is certainly doing better than Brick. Ugh! How? How can you handle that? He is absolutely destroying you. You made a bet with him and he's beating you like that? Yeah, but that's okay, because I'm still enjoying these races. I'm having the time of my life. Even if he wins, even if he beats me in all the races, I'll be glad that I still had a good time. Meanwhile, Lewis has definitely been doing very well this race. <sighs> Even beating out Francesco for most of it so far. <gasps> My mother is going to kill me! <sighs> hey champ, you know I gotta say, pretty interesting that you haven't won a single race yet. Be quiet Storm, there have only been two races so far and you haven't won either of them either. Yeah, but the cup wasn't named after me. 
You know, Lightning, usually I try to uh, trash talk crews a bit on the track, but it seems like another car's already doing that job for me. Kind of nice. Feels kind of free not having to, uh, you know, insult anyone on the track. Aside from you, of course. Yep, still a jerk. Folks, we are now on the final lap, and Cruz and Kara are still neck and neck. Come on, Francesco, you've got to do this. Don't disappoint your mother. Don't disappoint your mother. Who am I kidding? I've already disappointed my mother. Ah! That's okay, Francesco. You can still do this. You can still do well. Don't think about your mama. Don't think about how upset she'll be with you. Just focus. Hey, Jeff. Looks like I finally caught up to you after three races, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Well, doesn't matter. I'll still beat you. Remember, Cruz, don't Listen to whatever this car says. I don't need your advice, Lightning. But I... Cruz and Kara, both just seconds away from the finish line. Who's it gonna be? Who's gonna win? I can't upset my mother! No way! Francesco wins! Yes! Yes! Please respect me, mother! Please! <sighs> with Cruz in a close second and Crashwell in third. Lightning, once again, not too bad, coming in in fourth, with Jackson close behind him in fifth place. Lewis isn't too far behind, nor are Jeff and Brick. <sighs> and Brick Yardley has beaten Jeff Gorvet. Yes! Yes! Finally! Oh, finally! Finally, I've done it! Good going, Jeff. Thanks, Brick. Not too bad. <laughs> you know, I may or may not have gone easy on you there, but, uh, you'll never know. <sighs> Wait, you, you went easy on me? Wait, what? Way to go, everyone! Wahoo! Now, uh, Mr. Schnell, you mind if I ask you something real quick? Oh, you want an autograph? Uh, sure thing. No, 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 not an autograph. I, I was wondering if by any chance you had, uh, seen anybody selling Latin Cup hats around here. I'd really like to get one, you know. I'm getting kind of tired of this big Latin and Bolt one. I'd like one that's a bit more relevant to the race. But by any chance, have you seen anyone's being sold? No. Sorry. What a weird tow truck. A very surprising win today for Francesco. We'll just have to see if he could keep doing this well in the next race in France. Well, meanwhile, Cruz Ramirez has pulled her second, second place win. Now, she definitely didn't do as well today as she did in some of the previous races, but she still did a very good job. Uh, see you at the next race, Cruz. See you in France. Hey, why so sad, Lightning? I, it's nothing, Sally. It's, it's fine. Everything's fine. Lightning, I know you might be upset that you haven't won any of the races yet in this whole cup dedicated to you, but you'll do it, okay? And even if you don't win, we'll still have a good time. You are having a good time, right? Yeah, I, I guess. Come on, Lightning. We're going to Paris next. There's no need to be sad in Paris. That place is beautiful. Right. Yeah. No need to be sad. I'm sad in Paris. What? Why, buddy? Because, Mater, we have to go to a place as beautiful as Paris, and instead of going around and sightseeing, you make us all follow you into this dirty old parts market. Why do I want to go to a parts market, Mater? Because I got a friend who works here. You've been to Paris before? Yeah, during the World Grand Prix. But, but there were no World Grand Prix races in Paris. No, but we had to make a pit stop there, me and Finn and Holly. Oh, well, who'd you meet? Well, he's right over here. How you, Tom Bay? Ah, uh, mate, bonjour. How have you been? I've been doing very well, Tom Bay. How about yourself? Uh, I've been well, mate. It's very good to see you. Good to see you too. Uh, have you heard from Finn and Holly lately? Yes, actually. Um, they're away on some missions now, but they said they should be back soon and would love to visit you. Ah, oh, that's great. 
So, uh, who are all of these cars? <gasps> is that... Is that... Lightning McQueen, I am a very big fan, haha. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that your Lightning Cup race is coming here tomorrow. Yeah, I'm really excited to be here. Uh, nice to meet you, Tombe. So, what exactly is it that you do? Uh, well, don't tell anyone, but I am an informant. I help out uh, some spies that work for Chrome, and I also sell some parts. But I have had an issue lately, you see, this... This gang of cars, these criminals that came here a few weeks ago and they threatened me and then they stole all of my parts. Oh no, not your parts. No, you fool. Not my parts. My parts. My parts. The parts that I sell. They stole them from me. They threatened me and then they stole them. Well, do you know who these cars are? Well, not exactly, but uh, I've seen their images in some newspapers and... On the news on TV, it seems that they've come to America. In fact, I think one of them got locked up in some town called Radiator Sp Spark Plugs, was it? Radiator Springs? Yes, yes, that was it. That was the one. Ah, uh, these cars, one of them was locked up in Radiator Springs. Radiator Springs, that's where we're from. And just the other day, Sheriff locked up a member of a gang called the Road Dents. Oh, man, yeah, those Road Dents. They've been all over the news lately. They use a bunch of illegal parts to sabotage cars and all that. It's not fun. Yes, yes, those are the cars, those filthy rats. They came here and took a bunch of my parts. <clears throat> Wish I could get them back. But all of them getting arrested would be good enough for me. <laughs> uh, well, thank your police officer then for arresting one of them already. Hopefully the rest can be tracked down. And good luck on the racetrack, Lightning. I will be rooting for you. Thanks, Tombe. But I will also be rooting for Francesco. I kind of prefer him to you. But but I'll be rooting for you, too. I'll also be rooting for that King fella. He's pretty cool. And Cal Weathers and Cruz and Brick. But I'll be rooting for you still, I promise. I, I will. Anyway, uh, if you ever need anything, you know where to find me. Ha-ha. <laughs> Thanks, Tombe. Great seeing you. Great seeing you, too. Ha-ha. <laughs> Make sure to uh, let me know when Finn and Holly can come visit me. I certainly will, Mater. You know, that guy was actually pretty nice. Wonder if he sells any army surplus. I'm not sure if he does, Sarge, but, uh, anyway, Latin, shouldn't we be getting to the track so you could scope it out and all that before the race? Yeah, that's probably a good idea, Mater. I just hope I could do better this time. Well, even if you don't do better, Lightning, you're still having a good time, right? I mean, it's a whole racing series dedicated to you, after all. You must be enjoying yourself, right? Yeah, I, I am. I, I totally am. I mean... Like you said, Fillmore, it's a whole racing series dedicated to me, and I haven't raced in years, so it's okay if I don't do as well as I used to. I'm probably just getting rusty and and old, just like Storm thinks. Whoa, hey man, don't have to go all the way to that. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, enjoy yourself, man. Have a good time here. Don't worry. Don't worry about losing. Don't worry about Cruz. Cruz. Oh, man, why'd you have to bring up Cruz, Fillmore? Cruz has been giving me the cold fender ever since she lost in the second race. I don't know what's been going on. Actually, it started before that. I tried giving her advice on the track and she got all upset. I think that Chick and his racer are, are really getting to her. I just hope she's okay. Hey man, whatever happens, don't worry. Everything will work itself out. Everything will be just fine. <sighs> Here we are, four laps into the fourth race of the Lightning Cup in Paris, France. As per usual at this point, Cruz and Kara are right by each other on the track. Man, look at that. Cruz is way ahead of you once again. You know, Lightning, you trained her well. I gotta admit, she's kind of a pain to deal with on the track. She's pretty funny, you know. You can't catch up with the car you trained. Then again, I guess it makes sense. But it's funny. You know, I saw you trying to talk to her earlier, a few races back. Clearly, she wants nothing to do with you at this point. What'd you do, Lightning? Ha! Be quiet, Storm! You don't know what you're talking about! <sighs> All of the racers' performances have been pretty close to what our very own statistical analyst, Miss Natalie Certain, has said about them. Down to Chick, staying in the back of the pack for most of the time. Natalie also predicted that Kara and Cruz would usually be very close together with Jackson not far behind, but there's one car that she was surprisingly inaccurate on. 
None other than Strip the King Leathers. Yeah, a lot of cars expected the King to do far better with how huge his legacy in racing is and how good he was when he was on the track. But the King hasn't raced in, well, almost a decade now, so him staying in the back of the pack is unfortunately appropriate. But that doesn't stop the King's family and friends from showing him avid support. Come on, hon, you can do this. Come on, the King, you got this. Wow, look at us, Cruz. Both at the front of the pack once again. <sighs> You know, Cruz, you get all upset whenever someone compares you to Lightning McQueen, but he was always in the front of the pack, too. If you really want to stop being compared to him so much, maybe you should stop acting like him. Maybe you should stop trying so hard to win, you know. Stop trying so hard to stay in the front of the pack at all times. We'll probably help you out. No, I can control this. Use that, Cruz. Use that anger to push through! Cruz is the first car to win more than one race in the Lightning Cup, with Kara close behind her and Lightning in third. Hey, Cruz! There's my favorite two time winner. Ready to get going? We got a flight to catch soon. Yeah, Mac. Oh, man, you did great at that race, Cruz. How are you feeling after two wins in the Lightning Cup, huh? I, I'm fine, Mac. You sure? You don't really sound fine. Oh no. Is Chick Hicks' his little racer gun to you? No, Mac, I I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. All right then, uh, hop on board. Hey, by the way, have you spoken to Lightning recently? Uh, no. No, no, Mac, no. Hey, Sal, Luigi, Guido, have you guys seen Cruz? Luigi and Data. What? What does he mean? He says she's already gone. What? Yeah, at the... Uh, Seems she's already out of here. I mean, I don't see Mac anywhere, do you? No. No, I guess she's already gone. Oh, great. I want to talk to her. Oh, no. Hey, Crashwell! Huh? Listen up, Crashwell. I don't like the way you've been talking to Cruz. Oh, Lady McQueen, hey. Good to finally be able to talk to you. Well, let me tell you something, Lightning. Funny story about Cruz. She doesn't want anything to do with you anymore. She is going completely solo. She doesn't want to associate with you anymore. She was sick and tired of people comparing herself to you, so she's decided just to not talk to you and all that. <laughs> Probably all your fault. You're making her copy everything you do anyway. Hey, no, that's not true. That's not true. Where did I go wrong, Sal? You didn't. But I did, Sally. Clearly I went wrong at some point in training Cruz. I just made her into a copy of myself. Is that what you think? Or is that what Chick and his little student think? Well, I... They just say things to try to take you down, Lightning. They just want to see you and Cruz fail. Everybody else praises Cruz. You praise Cruz. You've been training Cruz to be the best she could be. And what's teaching someone if it's not telling them what you know so that they can grow beyond it? You've shown Cruz things that have helped you, and she's used them to help her just as they helped you in the past. And you've done such a good job at training her so far, Lightning. Everybody can see that. So you need to stop paying attention to Chick. I, I thought you weren't even doing that anymore in the first place, but now, look at where listening to him has taken you. It's ruined your friendship with Cruz. I'm sure you two can work it out, right? All you have to do is make sure she's ready to talk to you, and then talk it out. Yeah. Thank you, Sally. I... Thank you so much. I can make this right. I'm gonna make this right before the next race in Thomasville. That's the spirit stickers. And then, and then I, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what happens on the track. I just, man, I'm just really upset that I haven't been able to win any of the races in the cup, you know? It's a cup named after me and I feel like I've gotten old and, and bad. You're not old and bad, Lightning. You haven't raced in a few years now. Of course it makes sense if you're a little bit rusty, and that's perfectly okay. Plus, you're up against a bunch of other racers who you didn't even have time to train against. You had no idea you were going up against these cars. You've been doing exceptionally lightning, going off of the fact that A, you haven't raced in years, B, you're up against several newer, faster cars, 
and C, you had no time to train against them. You're doing okay, Lightning. In fact, you're doing great, and I'm so proud of you. But you just need to remember, there's a whole lot more to racing than just winning. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, thanks, Sal. See you on the plane to Thomasville. See you there. Well, at the airport, I guess. And then on the plane. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I meant. See you around. All right, Mr. Hersel, you should be good to go. See you next week. Thank you very much, Smoke Man. Uh, it's Smokey, but whatever. Hey, Smokey. Hey, Luis. You gotta come outside. Look who's here. Well, well, well. If it isn't Lightning McQueen. Welcome to Thomasville. Thanks, Smokey. It's great to see you. Great to see all you guys. Well, it's great to see you too, Lightning. It's been quite a while. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> How have you been doing? I've been doing great. Hey, wait a second. Where's Cruz? Why isn't she with you? Oh, uh, well, Cruz actually took Mac to all these different Lightning Cup races, uh, while I've been going on planes and stuff with the rest of the Radiator Springs gang. Oh, but why isn't she with you now? She hasn't shown up yet? Yeah, that's part of it. Part of it? Well, what are the other parts? Uh, Cruz is sort of not really talking to me at the moment, but I'm here to fix things. So uh, I just wanted to stop by real quick to say hello to all you guys, and uh, I was going to ask if you've seen Cruz, but clearly you haven't. I'm trying to get to her before the race so we could talk. Huh. Well, best of luck, Latin. Best of luck on the track and with reconnecting with Cruz. Thanks, Smokey. We'll be rooting for you, Latin. Go 95! Hey, Chick. Shh. Sorry. Hey, Chick. You said you wanted to meet here? Yeah, that's right, Kara. But why? It's a few miles out from Thomasville. That's exactly why, Kara. I brought you to the middle of this dark alleyway because I need to tell you my plan. Uh, okay. What exactly does this plan entail? A way that we can assure you win the race tomorrow no matter what. But I'm not really sure we need a way to ensure my win, Chick. I mean, I've been doing pretty good. Yes, you have been. In fact, currently, Cruz has 46 points in the Lightning Cup, and you have 44. Wow, yeah. See, just a two-point difference between the two of us. So, either one of us could win next race. Yes, but I'm sure you've noticed by now that you have only gotten first place in one race, while Cruz has gotten first in two. Okay? You and Cruz are incredibly close. You need to make sure that no matter what, you beat her. Now, yes, Kara, there is a very high chance that you could get first place in tomorrow's race. But, you know, there's also a very high chance that Cruz could get first place instead. So I've decided we need a bit of outside help. Another way to ensure your victory. So I brought you out here where absolutely no one can find us to discuss my plan, which is... There are some cars who hang out at a bar and grill not too far from here. The Cotter Pin in Thomasville? No, a different place. They're not too far from here. They're not in Thomasville, they're a few towns over. They're currently on the run from the law. And I need you to go to them and ask them for the SBT parts. SBT, what does that mean? It means the sabotage parts, Kara. You see, I have quite a bit of money, if you can't tell from the fact that I recently bought back HTB, and I have talked to these cars to ensure that they give me the SBT parts. But, but what are they? The SBT parts are a very dangerous set of illegal parts that used to be used in illegal street races to sabotage cars. Once they hit their top speed, boom, they crash and they won't be able to finish the race. So what I need you to do is, I need you to- Excuse me, sorry, coming through. Don't mind me, just coming through here. Hey, hey buddy, hey, I, I'm monologuing here. Come on, I was saying my evil plan here.
probably shouldn't have said that so loud, but, but come on, I, I was monologuing, I was talking, you, you cut me off, I chose this place because I thought nobody would find us here. What are you even doing at an alleyway at one in the morning? Ugh, ridiculous. Why do you have that mattress on top of you? You don't even look like you could fit on it. Chick, chick, uh, where were we again? I don't know, I barely remember, because that guy cut me off. Sorry, sorry, I gotta focus. Okay, right. You are going to go to these cars and ask them for the SBT parts that I ordered. We are going to sabotage Cruz by putting these parts in her while she's asleep. And at the race tomorrow, once she reaches her top speed of 210 miles an hour, she's going to crash, ensuring that you win no matter what. So, sound like a plan? Yeah, sounds like a plan. No, Chick, I gotta say, I like the way you play. Well, Chick said this is the place. The road den. Huh. One transberry juice coming up. I ordered Nitroate. This is a Nitroate. This is Dynico. Where's the manager? Man, this place is shady. Well, here are those guys. Hey boss, look who it is. It's that Crashwell fella from the races. Huh, so it is. Yo, why is she coming towards us, boss? Hey, you guys the road dent gang? Indeed we are, shh, quiet, Chip. We don't know if we can trust her yet. You can't just go around telling people that we are, in fact, the road dent gang. Highly, highly wanted in 17 countries and banned from 18 countries. But, but boss, you just, I don't care what I just said. Quiet, Chip. So, what brings a racer like you in here? Well, I, um, I got orders from Chick Hicks. Uh, apparently he made some sort of arrangement with you or something. Um, and he'd like you to give me the SBT parts. The SBT parts? You mean the thing that can destroy basically any racer when they hit their top speed? Shh! Quiet! We can't be telling people that we are in possession of the SBT parts, which could absolutely destroy a racer when they reach their top speed. But you just stop talking, Chip! Sorry, I'm sorry! Look, you gotta ignore my, uh, co-workers here. Everyone's been a bit, uh, concerned ever since one of our members, Dent, got locked up in Radiator Springs. Everyone's been kind of on edge. I'm Allie, by the way. Allie Way. And this is Chip. Hello. Scuff. Hey, and scrape. Hey! Now, Kara, it seems you don't have any money on you. Luckily for you, Chick already paid for the SBT parts. So, I'll give them to you. <laughs> have fun out there using them. But be careful. Remember, it could cause some serious damage to whoever you choose to sabotage. Yeah, I know. We are here live for a monumental event in racing history. The final race of the Lightning Cup here in Thomasville, USA. Cars all over the world are huddled around their screens right now, highly anticipating the outcome of today's race. Come on, Lightning! You better win this race! Come on, Finn. The race is about to stop. I gotta get to cruise before the race. I gotta get to cruise before the race. Lightning McQueen, it's an honor to have you racing in this town. Go make the Hudson Hornet proud. Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. Lightning McQueen. Uh, it's so great to see you back in Thomasville. Good luck out there. Good luck, Lightning. You go win this race. Hey, Lightning McQueen, come on. Can't wait to see you win this race here in Thomasville. Uh, thanks, guys, but really, I got up all racers. Please report to the starting gate. Great. It's too late. The racers are still lined up by their total points here. And for those of you following the rivalry between Brick and Jeff, it seems that Jeff is leagues ahead of Brick. No, no, I'm not changing my number, Jeff. I'm not. And, of course, Kara and Cruz are the cars everyone will be watching today, as they are only two points apart, with Cruz having 46 points and Kara having 44. Either of them can take home the victory. How are you feeling, Cruz? You doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm so beating you today. Mm-hmm. We'll see about that. On your marks, get set. 
Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's end this lightning cop off with a great race. And they're off. Come on, Cruz. All you gotta do is hit your top speed. That's all you gotta do. Cruz has an early lead, Kara behind her, and Lightning behind the two of them. This is gonna be one thrilling race, and I, for one, cannot wait to see how it finishes. I'm gonna beat you, Jeff! I... Man, I am way out of luck. Hey, old man. Hey, yourself. You know, I gotta say, I'm really surprised about your performance in this racing series. You are really doing poorly, says the guy who's gone last place in almost every race. Huh. Yeah, well, we both know that I deserve to win this strip. <laughs> I'm just surprised that you haven't been trying harder. Why haven't you been trying harder, by the way? You're just staying in the back of the pack. At least I'm making an effort to get in front. You barely are. Why is that? Because, chick, I am doing something that you will never know how to do. Oh yeah? And what exactly is that? I am enjoying myself. Think about it, chick. It's how you've been throughout your entire racing career. You care so much about winning that you never just allow yourself to have fun on the track. You never allow yourself to just be there and race and just enjoy the sport of racing. With you, it's always winning, 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 winning. That's how you always are. And it's a shame that you've never tried to change. <sighs> hey, that's not true. I, I, huh. I guess that is kind of true. <sighs> and Cruz is the first car to start lap three. Hey, Jeff, please, man, just do me a favor. Hey, Lewis, come on. Uh, Jeff, please, let me, uh, let me keep my number. Please, I, I really like it. 24 is, is pretty cool. Lewis, come on, man, this isn't fair. Come on, Francesco. You've got to make your mama proud. You've got to make your mama proud. Oh, who am I kidding? She's still not proud of me, even after I got first place in one of those races. Wow, dude. Seems like you got some real family problems you got to work out. Uh, thank you. Thanks so much, Jackson. You really have made things better for me. Hm. And here come Cruz and Crashwell once again, now starting lap four. Hey, Hamilton! Somebody say my name? What? No, not you, you idiot. The little AI thing that Cruz has and that I also have. Look, Hamilton. Hamilton here. Call out our speeds. 206 miles an hour. 207 miles an hour. Hmm. Seems a little slow, doesn't it, Cruz? 207 miles an hour. Maybe you should try going a bit faster. Jeff, come on, man, please. I, I don't want to have to change my number. Can we please call off our deal? Hmm. Sucks to be you. Hey, come on, Bobby. Why do you have to pass in front of me, too? And, and Cal, seriously? Here come Cruz and Kara with lightning not too far behind, about to start the final lap of the race, and in turn, the final lap of the lightning cup. Come on, Kara, win this. Come on, stickers. Hey, wait a minute. Where's Mater? He was just right here. Oh, uh, he said he was going to buy a hat or something? They're so close together, and there's only one lap to go after this. 208 miles an hour. 209 miles an hour. 210 miles per hour. <laughs> What's so funny? Wait, what the? What the? No! No! She hit me too! No! No! Cruz! Cruz! Oh my gosh! What happened? Lightning! I... I... I don't know! What happened to you? How could this... You did this, didn't you? Oh no! Cruz and Kara have collided! Oh no! What happened? Oh. Ha ha ha! This means I'm gonna win! No, you're not. What? Be respectful, chick. Stop racing. But, 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 says you! Says the guy who's been nothing but rude to Cruz for her entire career. Be respectful, chick. She's crashed, and so is your student. Stop racing. Lightning, I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry that I just... 
wouldn't stop listening to everything that chick said, and I'm sorry that I stopped listening to you on the track. I'm sorry that I let what chick and his student do tear us apart. I wish that... I wish that we had been closer together during these Lightning Cup races. I mean, we're a team after all. Thank you, Lightning. Thank you for being the best crew chief you could possibly be. I'm sorry too, Cruz. I'm sorry if I'm ever too pushy with my advice or if I'm giving it to you when you don't want it like I did back in that Tokyo race. It's just that I'm just trying to make sure you're as good as you can be by teaching you what I was taught. And sometimes I, you know, I get all concerned that I can't race as well as I used to. So I'm just making sure that you that you succeed because maybe deep down I'm concerned that I'm not as good as I was. But Cruz, I'd like to put this behind us. Okay? Let's go back to being a team. Now, I can still help you get to the finish line. I could probably push you there and we could still let you win this. No, Lightning. You win this. What? I want you to have this win, Lightning. This is a racing series that was named after you and is dedicated to you. I want you to win this race. So go. Don't worry about me. Like you said, I'm my own racer. I can make my own choices. I'll be okay. So, go win this, Lightning. Are you sure? Yeah. Come on, Lightning. You've got this. Okay. All right. Thank you, Cruz. <laughs> Cruz Ramirez has decided to not be helped by Lightning McQueen. Let's see what Crashwell does. Chick! Chick, help me out here! Chick, get me to the finish! What? No! Why would I help you? Because you're the one that made me sabotage Cruz! What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ha 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 ha. And the race continues. Oh, I'm gonna race! And win! Lightning McQueen! I'm gonna keep on going! Race! And win! Ha ha! Not gonna stop! I know it! The finish line, I know it's mine, and now I'm gonna show it! Race! And win! Not gonna stop! I'm rolling now! Ka-chow! Congratulations, stickers! You did it! You won the last race! Oh, congratulations, Lightning! That was fantastico! Let's go, dude! Good work, honey! Good job! Thanks, Guido! Good work out there, soldier! You made us all real proud! Congratulations, man! Way to go, buddy! Thanks, guys, and- <gasps> Mater! You finally got your hat! That's right! I did! I got my very own Lightning Cup hat! Hey, that tow truck took my hat. Ugh, ignore that guy. He, he doesn't know what he's saying. Will all racers please report to the winner's circle so that their final placements in the Lightning Cup can be announced? Unless, of course, your name is either Chick Hicks or Kara Crashwell, because both of you have been disqualified from the racing series because you illegally tampered with another racer and all of your scores have been nullified. What? My scores don't count anymore? This is unfair! It was all Kara! It was all her! Come on, dude. You lost, like, every single race anyway. Your score doesn't even matter. You would've gotten last anyway. No, come on! Come on! In 10th place for the overall Lightning Cup, Bobby Swift. In 9th place for the overall Lightning Cup, The King. In 8th place for the overall Lightning Cup, Cal Weathers. In seventh place for the overall Lightning Cup, Lewis Hamilton. In sixth place for the overall Lightning Cup, Brick Yardley. In fifth place for the overall Lightning Cup, Jeff Gorvette. In fourth place for the overall Lightning Cup, Jackson Storm. In third place for the overall Lightning Cup, Francesco Bernoulli. In second place for the overall Lightning Cup, Lightning McQueen himself. And finally, in first place for the overall Lightning Cup, Cruz Ramirez! 
Give these racers a round of applause, folks. They all did an excellent job. Great job out there, Cruz. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Lightning. I... Cruz! Cruz Ramirez! How'd you do it, Cruz? How do you do it, Cruz? What's your secret? Paparazzi. <laughs> no, no, it's okay, Guido. Let me answer them. My secret? My secret is that I have great friends who help me every step along the way. Cruz! Cruz, who are these friends? How do we get in contact with these friends, Cruz? <laughs> there she goes. Off again. Hey, Lightning! Oh, hey guys, what's up? We've just received word, um, Kara was just interrogated by, uh, our security. And she said that Chick made her sabotage Cruz for this final race using some illegal parts she bought from a gang called the Rodents. The police have since tracked down the Rodents and were able to arrest all four of them because Kara ratted out their location, too. And, not only have she and Chick been disqualified from this race, due to her actions here, Kara will not be returning to join the Piston Cup in next year's season. Oh, that's great. Um, I mean, I guess that's great. She wasn't a very good car. I mean, she was trained by Chick Hicks. Uh, is Chick Hicks' show canceled, too? Nope. Yeah, that thing's still going. It, it gets good ratings. Oh. Huh. So, Lightning, what'd you think of the Lightning Cup? It was great, guys. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this. Hey, no problem, Latin. And remember, if you need anything, just let us know. Yeah, I appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Actually, there is one thing. My hat! I get to have my own hat! And legally this time! Better late than never. Or, uh, better late than jail time for stealing someone else's hat. Yeah, yeah. You happy now, Mater? I certainly am, buddy. Great. We're all good, guys? Let's go home. Yeah. Let's. I feel the wind rush. As I go down the track, my engine won't stop. There's no turning back. Only have one goal, and I know what that is. I'm gonna run this race, and I'm gonna win. I'm gonna race and win. I'm gonna keep on going. Race. And when, not gonna stop, I know it, the finish line, I know it's mine, and now I'm gonna show it, race, and when, just gonna keep on rolling, I feel the ground move underneath my wheels, right as a track twist, I love how it feels, no I can't lose this. I'm just keeping it real, I'm gonna win this race, and that's the deal. I'm gonna race, and win, I'm gonna keep on going, race, and win, not gonna stop, I know it, the finish line, I know it's mine, and now I'm gonna show it, race, and win. Just gonna keep on rolling now. Hey, Jeff, can you do me a favor, man? Uh, sure, what is it? Can we just drop that whole car who loses, changes their number thing? Uh, yeah, sure, man. You know, I was kidding the whole time about it, right? You, you what? You, you were kidding? Yeah, I knew there was no way you'd possibly be able to ever beat me, so, you know. I just agreed to it, played along, thought it would be funny. You... Oh, you. I'll get you back next time, Jeff. I'll get you back. Oh, here I go. Gonna race to the finish. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You get it. This is a song that I put in the credits. How many songs about racing can I write for just this movie? It's more difficult than it seems. Singing about Lightning McQueen. How many songs about racing can I make for this thing? I don't even know how to sing, so I'm sorry if I have worse range than a telephone ring, than a telephone ring. Had to put two songs in the credits somehow, you all know how that works, usually one's a repeat of a song that you've already heard. But now it's done by some pop band, or it's the older song but extended, and then there's another one for the rest of the credits. Oh, how many songs about racing can I write for just this movie? 
I'm singing about the same stuff again and again. It's repetitive lines about winning and how you're staying in front of the pack. It's not even accompanied by a musical track. Now this part is the bridge. Should have got someone to feature. Think that I know just one singer, but I'm not sure how to reach her. Having trouble reading lyrics, I can't keep up with the pace. But I've got to make a song for the credits about a race. Names scroll by. They go across the screen. You just watched a fan film about Lightning McQueen. This part of the song should lead to the final chorus. But instead, I'm gonna make some car theme noises. Beep, beep, honk, honk, vroom, vroom, drive, drive, turn left, turn right, turn on your headlights, stop paying attention to modern music back in 2015. So I'm sorry if you don't like my song about Lightning McQueen. Oh, how many songs about racing can I write for just this movie? I don't even think it's about racing anymore. How many songs about racing can be crammed into this thing? Doesn't matter, cause this is the last one that you'll hear me sing. Hey, thanks for watching. Hey, why weren't we in the movie?